What's up, everyone? Is this thing on? <laughs> What's up? I'm Nikki Yanofsky. Welcome to my live at home session for American Songwriter. I want to make sure that I'm doing this right because I'm streaming from my phone. And usually I'm, I do it on the computer, but I want to be able to play the keys for you and sing. So, oh cool, I can see the comments easily, great. Hi everyone. <laughs> so welcome. We have a pretty cool little half hour planned. I, and when I say we, I mean me, an American songwriter. Thank you guys for having me on here. Um, I wanted to play some new tunes for you and share some of the best, in my opinion, classics, American classics. Um, I, also, I think I'm going to start off by playing my brand new single. It just came out on Friday, so if you like it, you can stream it. It's called Loner, and I actually have the track without the lead vocal in, so I'm just going to sing, I'm going to basically do karaoke to my own song. Gotta drink some water before. All right, you ready? I know I can't see you guys. I'm kind of getting used to doing these live stream concerts. I'm just gonna imagine you snapping along and listening and grooving. All right, <laughs> hey loner, yep, that's me. All right. You stopped inviting me, I always tell you no Forgot my number cause I don't answer my phone These kind of parties are getting old Feels like pulling teeth, I only end up leaving early Fake conversations, why don't we all grab a drink? Uh, no validation doesn't matter what they think uh, Let's flip the script to a monologue Talking to myself, put me on the shelf please Cause I don't care where you are Let me be a loner I'm better on my own Won't be coming over It's easier at home Get undressed, no one's too impressed. I'ma be an anti-social mess. Let me be alone, alone, alone. Sometimes I wish there was a way to clone myself. I'd send her out so she could act like someone else. Yeah. No, it's nothing personal. You could be the queen, I'd still be doing me, babe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't care where you are. Let me be a loner. I'm better on my own. Won't be coming over. It's easier at home. Let me get undressed. No one to impress. I'ma be an anti-social mess. Let me be a loner, loner, loner. I don't want to be around you uh. da -da 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 -da. Yeah, yeah, I don't have to be about you no. da -da 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 -da. Let me be a loner I'm better on my own Won't be coming over easier at home let me get undressed don't want to impress i'ma be an anti-social mess let me be alone no no no
some of these comments here. That's me, an antisocial mess. You and me both, my friend. Snap, snap, snap. This is me snapping my fingers right now. Love it. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. So I, I had some questions from American Songwriter, actually. They wanted to know if I tend to be a loner when it comes to writing, or do I co-write more? Um, I would say it's pretty much split down the middle. I love to write alone, and I love to co-write. There's kind of something to be said for both. I think when you're writing by yourself, you're, you're able to be more patient and really dig deep, and sometimes if you're in a writing session, especially if it's with new people that you just met, it's just impossible to you know, bury your soul within five minutes of meeting someone. So you tend to end up writing things that are a little bit more lighthearted, um, unless you come in with the already lyrics finished. Uh, so, I don't know, I, I like both. Honestly, I really do like both. I think that when I write alone, I'm just, my songs end up being a little bit more vulnerable. So, yeah, I, honestly, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not really a loner when it comes to writing. What was the inspiration for Loner? The inspiration for Loner was my life. I, <laughs> I honestly, on a good day, I really don't like going out and it's kind of become a joke. My friends and everyone, they they just stopped inviting me for real. They just, they know that my answer will be no, which is why the lyrics are, you stopped inviting me, I always tell you no. It's true. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm a bit of an introvert, I guess, but I talk a lot. I'm, I'm a talkative introvert. Yeah, I just would much rather be at home and not deal with the crowds. And I think, you know, the social anxiety is something that a lot of people can relate to, especially you know, people my age, there are definitely a lot of 20-something um, people with social anxiety. I just think that you don't see them because they're usually at home. So, yeah, that was the inspiration for Loner. I also thought that it was kind of a funny choice for this live stream, given that we literally cannot leave our house right now. Um, social distancing, but doing that before was a thing. So the next song that I wanted to play for you was by the late, great Bill Withers. He, in my opinion, is one of the great American songwriters. I just think that, you know, his, his songs are so timeless and so simple. And really, I think his music will live forever because of those two things. So yeah, let me just set up my Rhodes patch on my keyboard here. I'm gonna attempt to play this for you live. My piano playing is subpar, but anyway. Here we go. Ain't no sunshine. Ain't no sunshine when he is gone. It's not warm when he's away. Ain't no sunshine when he's gone. He's always gone too long Anytime he goes away I wonder this time where he's gone wonder if he's gone to stay Ain't no sunshine when he's gone And this house just ain't no home Anytime Away. And I know, 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 I know. Hey, you wanna leave a young thing alone, but ain't no sunshine when he's gone. Only darkness every day. Ain't no sunshine when he's gone. And he's always gone too long Anytime he goes away Anytime he goes away Anytime he goes away 
Sunshine by the great Bill Withers. Let me read some of these comments. What a great gift you have. Thank you. Swaying to the music. Your piano playing is beautiful. Well, I'll take it, but it's so good. Thank you guys. Oh, virtual applause. Love that emoji. <laughs> that was amazing. Thank you, Sarah. Cool. Um, all right. So I have some more questions that American Songwriter had for me. Who are some artists and writers who have inspired the way that you create music? I think my biggest um, influence with my songwriting was my mentor, Rod Temperton, who wrote Thriller, Off the Wall, Rock With You, Burn This Disco Out, along with every single Heat Wave song. Um, Always and Forever, Boogie Nights, Groove Line. He was just the absolute greatest. That's, I don't know if you can make that out, um, but that picture is actually Rod and his neighbor's dog, but I keep it on my piano for inspiration. He was just the greatest guy. So Rod is definitely my biggest influence. Um, Stevie Wonder, of course, who I also got the absolute um, pleasure and privilege and honor to play with him live, which was probably the best day of my life. Um, Smokey Robinson, Leonard Cohen, Amy Winehouse is also an amazing writer. Um, and speaking of great American songwriters, Carol King is also just incredible. And I think that leads me nicely into my next song. But before I do that, there's two more questions I want to answer. What has your songwriting process been like in quarantine? It's been like normal, honestly. My day-to-day -day life has not changed that much, thankfully. Um, usually when I'm in town, I live in Montreal, I just sit around all day playing music and that has not changed. Um, the next question was, what has been keeping you motivated and inspired in quarantine? And that was a little challenging at first because I feel like with everything going on in the world, it was a little bit hard to feel productive at the beginning. Um, I was just really preoccupied and then I turned that into inspiration and channeled that into writing and it's really helped me. Music is so therapeutic. I'm sure that you guys are probably agreeing with me on that one. I'm going to assume you're going like this on the other side of this phone. <laughs> okay. Next up, one of my favorite Carole King songs. Again, I'm going to try and play this on the keys. Let's hope I don't mess it up. I'm gonna switch to a piano sound now that I don't want the roads anymore. Okay. Here we go. When you're down in trouble some love and care and nothing nothing is going right close your eyes and think of me soon I will be there to brighten up even your darkest nights You just call out my name And you know wherever I am I'll come running To see you again Winter, spring, summer, fall All you gotta do is call And I'll be there Yes, I will You've got 
not afraid If the sky above you grows dark and full of clouds and that old north wind some blow Keep your head together babe And call my name out loud now And soon you'll hear me knocking at your door You just call out my name and you know wherever I am I'll come running to see you again baby don't you know about winter spring and summer or fall all you gotta do is come Now ain't it good to know you got a friend And people can be so cold They'll hurt you, yes, and desert you Take your soul if you let them But we're not gonna let them do that, no You just call out my name and you know wherever I am I'll come running mm -hmm. to see you again baby don't you know about winter spring summer or fall hey now all you gotta do is come got a friend all right fun fact about Carol King I once did an event um, that was honoring her and I got to sing her smack water Jack and that was such a highlight for me she was so sweet and so nice um, I remember she tuned in for sound check. She was just hanging out in the audience and I was just trying not to melt into a puddle on the floor of just a puddle of nerves just because she was watching. And she was so sweet. She made me feel so comfortable and so nice. So I really believe what Quincy Jones always says that your music can never be more or less than you are as a person. I think that Carol's music is so pure and so honest and true and nice. Um, and that's really how she is, at least in my experience with her. So, I think I'm gonna do one more song. This is a new song of mine. It's called Nerve. And I actually wrote this song for my mentor, Rod Temperton, once he passed away. I was really struggling trying to honor him it was just too daunting of a task because he meant so much to me. Not only was he my mentor, but he was really such a good friend of mine and it was really hard. And instead of writing some slow, sentimental song, I, I thought I'm just gonna write a song that I think he would have approved of and he would have liked and he would have said, it's groovy and it's called Nerve. Here we go. <laughs> I know I can't see you, but clap your hands, okay? You got that something that I just can't define Smoother than suede in 1979 uh, Don't give a damn about the way things should be You're not one to brag, you're always 
show it to me Boy, you don't need no key Cause you always get it for free No So much now some of these comments love each and every single one of your songs ever since I've seen you live in 2009 you've always been my biggest inspiration thank you so much Sarah that is so sweet um, I really appreciate your continued support and thank you all so much for tuning in I have two more questions that American songwriter asked me they asked what's up next on the horizon for music well funny you should mention it but I have an album out July 10th so Nerve, Loner, all these songs that you're hearing, they're gonna be on the record, as well as so many others that I just can't wait for the world to finally hear. Um, and the next question was, what advice would you give to aspiring songwriters? I would say, just write as much as you can. For every one amazing song that you hear, there's probably a hundred horrible ones that came before it. <laughs> so just enjoy the journey, keep going. And also, I think my, one of my biggest things I tell people is don't be lazy, write a bridge. Songs need a bridge. <laughs> will the album be out in the US on July 10th too? Yes, it will be. It'll be out everywhere. Can't wait to hear it. Thank you guys. Thank you, American songwriter. Yes. Thank you, American Songwriter, for having me. I hope we get to do this again soon. And I hope that you are staying safe inside and that this maybe took your mind off things, at least for a quick half an hour. And I'll see you next time. Thank you all for tuning in. Have a good night. Bye.